I just wanted to talk about the way the dough is mixed. In professional bakeries, they put the flour in first usually because all of the other ingredients are based off the flour. And if they want to change something, they don't want to change the flour. I mean, if they have to change the flour, it's going to be last on the list. So the flour is usually put in first and the other ingredients are added and then mixed in. Sometimes bakers will put a big pile of the flour on their surface, add the wet ingredients, and then mix the dough. You can do that, no problem with it, but when you're only making a couple loaves, I find that it's just easier to do the liquid ingredients first, get them all incorporated, and then add the flour. So I just want you to know that in the bigger bakeries, they pretty much always do the flour first, but they have the big mixers, and it's real easy to mix in the extra ingredients, whereas... If you started out with all your flour in here and then added the wet stuff, you know, you then you'd have all the flour packed into the corners and at the bottom. And of course, it's not that much more difficult. I find that I prefer adding the liquid ingredients first and then any dry ingredients. Right after you mix the dough, glutenin and gliadin, the two different types of gluten, they begin to bond. And within a short time, you can see right now there's not much bonding here. It comes apart fairly easily. But within a short time they begin to bond and uh, while they hydrate, while they autolyse, the enzymes that are already in the dough that come from the, the grain, they begin to break down the starches and they start fermentation. And so the dough has a chance to fully hydrate, the gluten has a chance to, to do its bonding, and the enzymes have their chance to break down the starch, liberate the sugar, and not only that, the protease enzyme works on the gluten to modify it so that not only is it stretchy and bouncy, but it's extensible and it can relax as well. You don't want a dough that's so tight and so rubbery that you can't work with it. The protease enzyme works on the gluten and modifies it so that you have the best of both worlds. You have it stretchy and bouncy and you have it able to relax so you can get the nice large open crumb. Folding the dough is an alternative to kneading it. When you work with sourdough and you have really long ferment time, you don't want to knead the dough all at once because the gluten will be developed fully and then while it sits there it also continues to develop with time and then by the time you're done your gluten starts falling apart. So what we want is slow gluten development and you get that by folding and stretching the dough.